Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials, and today I'm gonna take a look at maximizers. What is a maximizer? A maximizer is being used to get the most volume out of our recordings. A maximizer can be seen as a limiter or a compressor, but it does a little bit more than that. If we know how a normalizer works, a normalizer looks at the highest peak in our whole program and it's gonna boost that to be at the ceiling level and it's gonna boost the rest of the signal according to that. So if the peak uh, is let's say 5 dB below the loudest, then it's gonna boost the whole signal with 5 dB. Most maximizers only have two functions. Uh, that be the threshold and the output level or the output ceiling. Problem with a traditional normalizer is that it's gonna boost the whole signal according to the loudest peak that we have in our material. Well, these loudest peaks normally just last a millisecond or so, and they're just really small peaks uh, in the entire song. So the benefit of using a maximizer is that it's actually uh, two in one is gonna normalize the signal, but when you lower the threshold value, it's gonna look for peaks which uh, rise above it and they're gonna be limited. Therefore, it means we can actually make our signal louder. Real simply put, we can say that a maximizer is a normalizer with a limiter in front of it. I must point out that most maximizers out there actually have some quantization, dittering and noise shaping options as well, which really indicates that these are used for mastering purposes. If you're going to be using your, uh, your maximizer as an insert maybe on a track, then you really want to turn off dittering and quantization and really keep that for the last stage where we're going to be converting our mix, uh, let's say from 24-bit to 16-bit, that's really what these things are made for. Let's listen to what a maximizer can do with our signal. I think you could clearly hear where I uh, turn on the maximizer and uh, when I played around with the threshold. So this really has an impact on my final mix. I'm going to use a second example, again a production that I've done, and you can uh, start to hear what a maximizer does on the second mix. and you could really hear the differences when uh, when I played around with that and it really squashes my mix. If we're going to be working with maximizers on our mix, always keep in mind that our ears like dynamic range. Um, I've talked about dynamic range in this season. You can always check some of the other videos on my channel to learn more about it. The thing is that you always want to have a little bit of dynamic range in your song. Dynamic range gives us a, a, a point, a reference point of what's soft and what loud is, and that can actually make your song softer and louder. I see so many over-the-top maximized tracks, which could have sounded so much better if they were recorded properly, still have a little bit of headroom left, still got that dynamic range of soft and loud. That's really what this music is about. So. I hope you learned something today. If you're going to be using maximizers, put them to good use. Always consider what I just explained as well. Once again, this was Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next episode.